Bear with me for just one moment here. Fuck yeah. All right. It's fucking uh, Sonic Advance. Cause why not? Uh. There's a lot I could say about this game. I mean, it's pretty, uh... Let's see, make sure we've got the level on normal, time up on... This doesn't matter at all. This bullshit matters. So, this is Sonic Advance. It's the first Sonic game that was ever on a Nintendo platform. And it's the first original Sonic game that was on a Nintendo platform. And, uh, it's pretty cool. I liked it a lot when, I, when it first came out. And I think it did a lot for the series. This was like the first Sonic game handled by Dimps, I think. Or was that this Neo Geo or Wonder Swan game? I have no clue. But whatever. Um, hold on one sec. Let me just check something real quick before I get started here. Okay, sorry about that. No one's in the house right now, so I have to... Make sure everything's secure. So, we got a uh, four playable characters this time. We got Sonic, we got Mutant Fox, Nipples the Enchilada, and Amy, who's the first. This is the first time she's playable in a side-scrolling game. So, the way this works is that there's no files. It's just one save data that carries over for every character. So, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go through. Each zone is like a different character, just because you could switch them off and not lose progress. And then when I'm done, I'll, I'll pretty much probably just switch to Tails to get all the Chaos Emeralds. Uh, well, oh, my buttons weren't set properly. Whoops! Uh, this is for multiplayer, we're not going to be doing multiplayer. Time Attack, again, not going to bother with that, no reason. Tiny Chow Garden, I'll show off a little later. So before I begin, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to press up, down, L bumper, R bumper, and then back, and then... Hey. Yeah, it worked. I'm surprised I still remember that. It's been forever since I've played this game. So I mean right away, like, a lot of the differences between, like classic Sonic in this become pretty apparent. Like, this is very much completely redone from the ground up to be for the Game Boy Advance. It's not a lame port. Like, they later did for Sonic 1. They actually made, like, a Game Boy Advance port of Sonic 1, which is absolutely awful. So these rails, I think you can only ride them as Sonic in this game. In the later games, you could ride them as anyone. So they went with, like, very, very kind of traditional Green Hill Zone for the first area of the game. Which, you know, pretty much every Sonic game is like that these days. You always start out on, like, a Green Hill Zone. But this one's flat out called Neo Green Hill, which actually, interestingly enough, that's the original beta name for uh, Aquatic Ruin in Sonic 2. I guess they kind of thought it was a neat name and decided to use it. These things, I think when you step on them, they make you bounce. Yep. Alright, they actually give... So you actually have a few more moves than, like, in the older older games. Like, uh, if you press B, you do kind of, like, a little somersault forward. And it's different depending on the character. If you press it again, you do a backflip or a front flip. And if you press it a third time, you do, a, like, a little dive move, which doesn't isn't that useful. If you press it twice and then jump, you actually do this weird move, which has no purpose whatsoever. Pressing A in the air makes you do the little instant shield, which is pretty much the same as Sonic 3. And then you hold down, you could do the charge spin dash, which again isn't too quick. 
that this whole game is kind of slow compared to, especially compared to the other Sonic Advance games. This game is really slow, but it kind of mimics the original like trilogy or quadrilogy of games better. There's actually a special spring up from here that takes you to the, to the Emerald stage, but I'm not going to bother with it now. Getting the Emeralds of Sonic is just a big pain in the ass, so I do it with Tails later. But yeah, this was the first, um, this is the first Sonic game that was on a Nintendo system. And it's the first original Sonic game on a Nintendo system as well, I guess. Because it's not, because the first two games on, uh, Sonic games on Nintendo system were, were this and, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, which, which was a port of the Dreamcast game. A much better port of the Dreamcast game. And I think this is pretty great, actually. Like, I I like all of the Sonic Advance games, but I know people kind of criticize Dimp's uh, stage design philosophy. They don't like how many of these, like, orange zippers there are that go everywhere. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, I gotta get up on that platform. And not hit that spring. Ah, oh, Twitch isn't behaving. Uh, I'm not dropping too many frames. Alright, let's get on there and jump over this this time. And yeah, there we go. And I fucked up. Oh, but I just fell down the waterfall that time. Okay. Red springs are bigger boosts than uh, yellow springs. Question mark rings give you anywhere between, I think, 1 and 20 rings? Not sure. But yeah, this this game keeps kind of the multiple path system pretty well. Um, Dimps kind of has a problem with making big boxy stages, which people don't really like. I think it's fine, honestly, if you know what to do. There, there is some trial and error kind of involved with it. But, I mean, like, at the time... Alright, when I, when I got this game in high school, first, first year of high school, this was the only Sonic game I could play. Because the only one I had was Sonic 2 for Game Gear, which, you know, fuck me pulling out the Game Gear and playing that game. Sonic 2 and the Game Gear was, like, awful. And it's also really hard. And also the Game Gear took six batteries for five hours of life, so fuck that. But I mean, despite the game being so simplistic, it was like it was it was a big mind blowing moment when this came out because I was like, oh my god, Sonic on a system that I finally I'm like I actually own a Nintendo system. Uh, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start and select A B, and then I'm gonna switch to uh, Tails. Oh fuck! Wait, it just starts you at the beginning again? So do you have to beat it with everyone? Ah, oh, shit, let me check. Yeah, I guess you do. Oh, well, fuck. I know the Chaos Emeralds are tied to the game in general, so if I get them all with Tails, then it counts for everyone. Also, it only saves after you beat a zone, I believe, so if I do Act 1, it will not save it. I have to beat Act 2. Alright, so that made this a little longer, but whatever. We'll manage. I was just gonna switch off every zone, as a different character, but I'll just show off the first levels as uh, Knuckles and Amy. I'll pretty much have to go through the game a second time with Tails anyway, so it's, no, it's really no big deal. It's 
speed shoes, which, you know, it's... Most often when they give you speed shoes in this game, they're not that useful. They'll usually give them to you in like very tight corridors or platforming areas. game's pretty short, too. Unlike most Sonic games, there's at least seven zones. Uh, this one only has six. Six and then, like, the final areas. Uh, so what they do to remedy that is that uh, the fourth area has two Chaos Emeralds in it, as opposed to one, like every other area. See, this is another case of what I just said. They give you the speed shoes right before, like, a really annoying, grabby puzzle or platforming thing. Not really a puzzle. Thankfully, the speed shoes last a while, so you do get some use out of them, usually. I can't even remember where the Chaos Emerald Springs are in this game. I think this is the way- no, never mind. But yeah, I figured I'd stream this now, because uh, this is kind of a shorter stream. This will probably be, like, maybe one or two streams at most. I might do it tonight. I might just do it all tonight, honestly, considering how quickly the game... How short and quick the game is. But we'll see. Sonic Advance 2, if I stream that, you'll see it takes a lot longer. Because that actually requires... To get to the true ending, you have to play the game four times. As opposed to this, where you can theoretically do it in one playthrough. Also, don't know how to avoid that. I've never been able to avoid that attack, ever. Well, the, yeah, the reason Sonic Advance 2 requires so many playthroughs is because to, to get the unlockables in that game, you have to unlock... You have to get all the Chaos Emeralds with every character, and there's five characters in that game. But to get the Super Sonic stage, you need all of them with Sonic, and then you need all of the uh, other characters to have beaten it. Well, four of the five, because the fifth character is technically hidden. And then, uh, I think Sonic Advance 3... Sonic Advance 3 is much different than this, because, um... See, like, how I thought that the progress was saved to everyone in this one? In Sonic Advance 3, what it is is that everyone is essentially part of the same group. Because you could switch characters freely in that one. 
So it's it's not like you have to go through the game multiple times. It's just that the main game is a bit longer. Which honestly, I kind of like better than this because then it's like, you know, it's more stages. Sonic Advance 1 and 2 only have uh, two acts per zone, but 3 has uh, three acts. And they're also kind of open, like you could do them in any order you want. As opposed to the first two, where it's kind of classic. Uh, you go to Act 1 and you go to Act 2. I was supposed to hit the A button and move. Didn't work. <laughs> it was just an automatic throw. Boing. It's a, it's a pretty solid game all around. There really isn't, like, it, for, for all that, for all it's worth, there isn't a whole lot to say about it, honestly. It's a Sonic game. And it's an often overlooked one because it was on the Game Boy Advance. Which sound effect? from Mario Land 3. Curious what sound effect you're talking about now. just kind of snap to that. So this is not like the uh, Sonic 3 drum that everyone hates. This is just you bounce on it until it has enough momentum to carry you, which isn't fun because it doesn't always cooperate. Or do, we, do you hold down? No, you don't. You couldn't hit him there. See, a standard uh, Sonic Fair, most bosses have eight hits. And he keeps doing the same pattern over and over. Slow. There we go. So if you stand right here, you get knocked back. Doesn't hurt, but still kind of funny. Oh, also, I forgot to put Tails back in with the code. The Sonic and Tails mode. Shit. Ice Mountain. This is the one that has two Chaos Emeralds. One in Act 1 and one in Act 2. So 
this is the ice level, as you can tell. It's also the water level, which makes it doubly annoying, because who hates... Who likes ice levels and who likes water levels? Except Hydrocity. Hydrocity is the only zone that counts when it comes to water. Actually, no, that's not true. Aqua Planet in Sonic Chaos for Game Gear is really cool, too. Oh, look at that slow moving. Guys, I was safe. I would say this game looks gorgeous. For an early for an early release Game Boy Advance game, this is a really beautiful game. I think the special springs up there. Again, it, it, most of these special springs are just completely broken by the fact that Tails can reach them. And since the Chaos Emeralds are stored among all characters, you don't need to worry about it. I do have, um, I do have some Halloween games coming up. Well, not Halloween, but, like, you know, scary games. Some, t probably by the end of next week, I'm gonna start Resident Evil 3. Uh, but, okay, the spring was down. And then I have another spooky game planned for Halloween. I don't want to spoil it, but I will say it's an RPG of sorts. Shit. Shit! Oh, that was my first death. Go, go. Alright, good. Speaking of spooky games, did you hear the, um... Did you hear about the interview uh, Masahiro Sakurai did regarding a uh, Kirby Superstar when it was on the uh, su uh, with for the release of the SNES Mini or SNES Classic? Actually, you know what? Hold that thought for one second. I'll be right back. I gotta I gotta check on something real quick because I think someone just came home, so I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Had to, uh, say hello to someone who was home. <laughs> Let's get back into comfortable seating position. Alright. Oh, wow, I dropped some frames, too. Oh, I was paused. I think I was paused. Like how I didn't even have to run against that, it just started breaking on its own. Am I already at the end? I think I am. 
So again, this boss, if your if your tail is just this, if this boss is completely trivial, you could just run up and ram into him. Unlike Sonic, who will try to climb on a platform, clip through it, and then touch Robotnik or Eggman or whatever. He was he was already Eggman by this point. I know he was always Eggman in Japan. Shh. Damn it. You, you do not get a lot of wiggle room there. If you're even, like, touching him, you get kind of fucked. Okay, well, we're over halfway through the game now. Actually, we were over halfway through the game after the last zone. Alright, there's another move I forgot Sonic can do. If you're in the air and you double tap forward, he like does like a... like a forward thrust in the air. Useful in some situations. I can't remember any specifically in this game, though. Excuse me. In this game, though. I'm still a little sick. So this is Angel Island Zone, which looks nothing like Angel Island at all. What were they thinking when they designed this stage? It's so bad. I actually like this stage, it's, it's alright, it's kind of frustrating at points, but it's still fun. That kind of sums up the Sonic series in general, though. Frustrating, but you know, you have a good time, so who cares? But yeah, I, I never felt like this was a proper representation of Angel Island Zone. I was like, oh, but where's the jungle? Where's all the cool flaming trees and stuff? And, like, up to this point, I had never played Sonic 3 before, so... Or, I'd only played it, like, at a friend's house, like, once or twice, so I was like, oh, this doesn't look like Angel Island, this is such a letdown. And I couldn't go play the original, so I was like, oh, whatever. I remember not realizing it right away. I remember, like, it taking me, like, a little while to realize that, like, oh, this this isn't... This isn't how the stage how I remember it from when I played it at my friend's house. I guess the implication of this stage is that it's Angel Island while it's still floating, and that it's kind of the more, I guess, the place where they keep the emeralds or whatever. Never, I don't really know. I have no clue. So, I mean, you see a pyramid in the background, and I'm like, thinking that's kind of the, supposed to be the Mystic Ruins from Sonic Adventure or something. I don't know. Sonic's weird, because it's like... They won't bother to have an established, like, continuity with some of the shit that happens in it. But then other things they, like, they subscribe to, like, Oh yeah, no, this totally happened. It's totally a thing that happened.
zero points of those spikes there. They just exist to slow you down. Which again, kind of one of the more ha shit. I was not paying attention there. Again, kind of one of the more overlooked aspects of Sonic level design, where they just kind of throw shit at you to like halt your progress, which I kind of feel is the point. Runs counter to the point of the series. But that argument has been made so many times. Like it's 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 you could find better ways of wording it anywhere. I feel like every Sonic game has its ups and downs. Like it's just a matter of do the do the downsides of one particular game's design outweigh the pluses in your opinion? And for me, it's usually yes. I think Sonic 2 is probably the only one that I got really annoyed with and had to cheat to win. <laughs> See, this is a spot of kind of shitty design because if you're not if you're not holding right, uh, you might sail clean over that uh, platform. Also, if you don't look up, you wouldn't know that there's a bar right here you can hang on to. when you get a power-up before it shows up, which is kind of annoying. Also, just no side 69 rings. Nice. <gasps> no, not nice. And fuck. All right. So I'm back here, I'm guessing. Can I just go forward from here? Yeah, I can. And I think that was a dead end. Shit, dude! Alright. It's like you don't realize it until it's too late. But again, that's Sonic. That was bullshit, though. Like, the random, the random spikes popping up from the ground. It's like... That's not good design. That's never good design. Especially since you can't jump over, like, two of them at once. also kind of shitty right here because they put a downward slope that you have to jump off onto a platform that's not very uh, very well designed and down into the pit <laughs> fuck all right we could tell where this playthrough is going Brother's taking a shower. I was like, what the hell is that noise?
All right, the Kirby thing. Um, so yeah, recently, for the release of the SNES Mini, or Classic, or whatever it's fucking called, um, someone did an interview with uh, Masahiro Sakurai regarding Kirby's Sup Kirby Superstar, which is the, you know, that six games or eight games in one game that I actually streamed a few months ago. Um, and they said originally there was supposed to be one more game on it, which was supposed to be a horror-themed Kirby game that took place in a mansion. And what it would be was that uh, it would be puzzle-based. You wouldn't have... You wouldn't be able to get power-ups normally, but if you inhaled, like, a candle, you'd be able to get the fire power-up. Oh, shit, it's a special spring. All right, you get to see the special stage for the first time. Get 90 rings. Pressing aids makes you descend faster. Pressing B makes you spin. Okay, and so far I've gotten nothing. These special stages are annoying as fuck, if I remember. I don't know how I didn't grab that, but whatever. But yeah, it was gonna be called something like Kirby. Oh my god, the the placement for this is so bad. Oh, I had to do a trick through that. Not enough rings. Yeah, now you know how annoying it is to get the emeralds in this game. Thankfully, the other two Sonic advances aren't too bad with this shit. And after you fail once, uh, it can't send you back there again. So, you know, fuck you. But yeah, it was gonna be called, like, Kirby's Boiling Mansion or something like that. And you were gonna just, just use, like, Fire Kirby to solve puzzles or something, and it was gonna be very horror-based, and... I guess that's pretty cool. There was, like, no designs for it at all, because it was, like, early concept shit that they dumped really early on. We come against boss five, which is fake knuckles. Yep. Cause why would the real knuckles be bad? Any reason I'm streaming this one? Not really. I just wanted to unwind after uh, going through Seiken and Setsu three for a month. I need I needed something quick. Lost a lot of protect. <laughs> you know what that means? That means I need to take a drink. Hold on. I'm still a little sick, so my tongue's kind of mucusy because of the nasal drip or whatever. I've lost a lot of productivity to playing Stardew Valley myself. I have that on PC and I've not started it, and I kind of am tempted to because I'm seeing everyone starting it on the Switch now, and I'm like, oh, I wish I'd waited. I could have got it on Switch. Same with Axiom Verge. Both games came out the same day on the Switch, and I got them both for Christmas last year on PC, and I've not played either of them. And I'm like, oh man, if I had them on Switch, I'd have been playing it by now. So this zone, this is Egg Rocket Zone. When you hit each certain part of the area, it like breaks apart and you get like a five minute timer. So the timer's actually running down rather than up. I don't think I'd have fun streaming it, honestly. It's the kind of game that I wouldn't really do well. I don't know. Maybe I could stream it. I don't know. I've, I've been thinking about it. The thing is, it's such a long game that I, I don't know if I'd want to invest the time into streaming it. Because then I'd only be playing it in like three hour chunks. 
Unless I play it mostly on my own and just kind of... Oh, excuse me. Water. Uh, if I just kind of play it on my own and then at, like, key points, I'll stream it. Because I know it's, it's like Harvest Moon. There's a lot of parts where you're just kind of doing daily life and not much else. I'll see what happens. If I do stream Stardew Valley, it probably won't be till next year. Or at least until after Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll make that my December game for this year. Because last year I remember doing uh, Golden Sun 1 and 2 for pretty much all of my streams after Thanksgiving until the New Year's. And it ended on a big 7 hour stream. Which I'm not, hope I'm hopefully not doing that again. I can do maybe a 5 hour stream, but the 7 hour stream I went through was way too much. Oh shit, no, 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 fuck, alright. Am I all the way back down here? Yes, I am. No, that's Boktai that you're thinking of. Golden Sun is the RPG series. I remember watching a video about someone complaining about this game like a little while ago, and I was like, oh, they're just not good at it. This level design's fine. Then I fall in the same trap they just did. Like a freaking moron. Oh, there it is. Okay, see, that's kind of crappy. They throw the, those spikes right next to a collapsing platform. I remember holding onto the DS sequel longer than usual and hope that Nintendo would be soon another iteration. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. And yeah, that DS sequel. Ugh. To be honest, that's what I was going to do it, do it again, do it again. It's for the seven hour stream? No. God, no. I mean, we'll see. Maybe I'll do a seven hour Stardew Valley stream if it interests me that much. Um, that's actually what got me to stream the Golden Sun games last year. I was like, oh, I wonder if I could run Dark Dawn just because on this PC, just because um, I've only played through it once. But it turns out I couldn't, so I was like, well, screw it. I'll just do good, the GBA Golden Suns. And I did, and it was pretty fun, aside from that last seven-hour stream where I was exhausted afterwards. But, and I haven't mentioned this on stream yet, fuck. Um, I'm back here, there's no save points in this one. The only checkpoints are when the pieces of the ship break apart. Um, so, this might not happen for maybe another year, but I might be getting my brother's current desktop as my own. I got an email from Nintendo about the Mario & Luigi remake that I'm not getting. Um, that's another good game. I should stream that at some point. So my brother has a good computer. He got it. It has a cutting edge... Ooh, don't want to make that mistake again. It has pretty cutting edge uh, hardware. Fuck! It has pretty cutting edge hardware for 2014. And it's a PC, so it's upgradable. The thing is, um, it's kind of, it has like a problem where it's not, it has a problem where it's not updating properly, where, um, like if you try to update any kind of thing on the windows for it, it just crashes. He's had to do system restore on it like twice. So he was thinking instead of just getting it repaired, he was thinking of saving up and just getting a new, you know, cutting edge PC since he works in TV editing anyway, it might be more beneficial to him. So he's considering saving up for one. If he does, uh, he's going to give me the current one. And all I have to do is get it repaired, most likely. And if I do, then I've got a much better PC. The m much... Oh my god, what the fuck? I remember this stage being this buggy. I can say this. No matter... Even if it's like 2014 parts... It's still going to be way better than this laptop I'm using the stream now. So, if I get that, you can expect a lot more different kinds of games, like DS games, maybe even GameCube games. Pretty much everything in my Steam library will be back on the table. 
You can expect a lot more Mega Man. Uh, that's not the right way. That's the right way. Whoa, whoa. Uh, oh, man, that's a one-way road. But yeah, like I said, um, if, if this happens, it's not going to be for a while. That was the wrong way. Shit. This stage sucks. I mean, if I could stream DS games, then you can expect um, Mega Man Star Force after the Battle Network series is done. Again, though, if I do the 15th anniversary for the... Fucking really? If I do the 15th anniversary for that series as well, uh, you're going to be waiting a long time for those streams. Like, this, the, third, the third and final Star Force game would not be for seven years from now. No, wait, sorry, longer than that. Three is next year, four is the year after that, five is the year after that, six after that, then one, two, three, so... No, yes, yeah, seven years. So you'd have to assume that I'd be streaming seven years from now. Which, for frame of reference, that's longer than Vinny's been streaming. Do not go to the right. Go to the left. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But again, uh, the reason I'm uh, Golden Sun gets brought up there is because if I do get the uh, computer, I'll be able to stream Dark Dawn, which is kind of a blessing and a curse because Dark Dawn is not that great. But at the same time, it's the only Golden Sun game I've played once, and I would kind of like to re-experience it. This is just a bullshit jump right here, if I recall. It's just luck if you make it. You have to hit the bottom of the spring. And that's just me not paying attention. I believe this is the final split. Here we go. But yeah, if I could do GameCube games, I could do Mega Man Network Transmission and Mega Man uh, X Command Mission. Which, oddly enough, those two games subvert each of their own genres, because Mega Man X Command Mission is a series that's usually a platformer, but it's done as a turn-based RPG, and then Mega Man Network Transmission is a series done as a action RPG turned into a platformer. And I'm looking forward to streaming both of those if I can. More, most likely more Command Mission, because Command Mission's infinitely less frustrating than uh, Network Transmission. Oh yeah, here the gravity gets reversed, with no warning whatsoever. I do believe the lever, design lever, lever? Nice. level designers for this game have been let go from Sega. Well, this game was developed by Dimps, which... I don't know how many games they did before this, uh, but Dimps did, like, most of the portable Sonic games all the way up until recently. I think all the way up to Generations uh, 3DS, they did the portable Sonic games. Nice, thank you. I don't know, like I said, a lot of people criticize Dimp's level design. Um, I think it's alright for the most part. There's some bullshit, but if you know how to handle it, it's not too bad. This stage in particular is, is the worst, in my opinion. And there's the end. So for some reason, Act 2 of this zone has a different name. Act 1 was uh, Egg Rocket, and now this is Cosmic Angel. 
And I guess it's just the level designers want to use the, the word Angel somewhere, which is weird because we already had Angel Island in this game. Which, again, looked nothing like Angel Island. So, in terms of streams for the next few weeks, uh, like I said, Resident Evil 3 is going to be the next big one. And that'll probably last maybe a week or two. Well, not a week or two, maybe a week and a half. If it lasts past Halloween, I'll just finish it in November. It's no big deal to me. But on Halloween itself, I have got a different game I want to stream. Which may or may not be a one-off. It really depends. So, we're going to do this up until the Supersonic stage. Um, then I actually, I actually have another one-off planned after this, which will be next week for, uh, it's a PlayStation game, and it looks pretty cool. Pretty wacky, actually. No, 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 oh, okay, somehow I snapped to that platform. But yeah, Resident Evil 3 will be the next, like, longer game, even though it probably won't be as long as Seiken and Setsu 3. Um... And then, in November, I was thinking of doing another RPG. Another sh it's gonna be a shorter one. But again, you know, November, usually I'm not around for the last second of last week or so. Which is gonna happen this year, too. When it comes to, like, Thanksgiving, I, I go away for a few days. And I might just do two earlier streams in the week, or I might opt to only do one stream. It really depends on how I'm feeling. So this boss, you gotta flip him over and then bounce him. And then get hit, because, you know, level design. I gotta get good. I gotta get good. Oh, fuck no. No, oh, and the rings don't bounce here, so... You lose them and they're gone. And I'm dead. Over! Okay, there you go. There you go. I believe there's another boss like this in one of the other Sonic Advance games, but they're, uh, nowhere near as hard to flip over. Now he starts, he goes, yeah, he goes really quickly once or twice. No, fuck. Such bad timing with that shit. There we go. No capsule here because where would the animals go? You're in space. And now we go to the final zone. And you're treated to this neat little throwback. Which, I mean, I really appreciated this at the time. It was like, oh, cool, it's uh, the Sonic 1 first boss with only four hits. And I guess it's kind of celebrate the fact that it's like, oh, hey, here's Sonic on the Game Boy. We'll, we'll give you a throwback into the first boss from the first two games over again. Complete with a remix of their theme. Now you get the actual final boss. And this boss is kind of annoying. So that, yeah, he shoots a little, he shoots a missile or a little, little bomb at you. 
this, he moves across the screen, and then he has two more. One that grabs you, and then one that just shoots a laser straight forward. Yeah, it's really hard to hit him, too. Because if he's up, he's li up like that, he's invincible. It is possible to cheese him, if you know how, but... Like here, I could just do that. And I got him, nice. Notice how there's the moon up in the upper right corner? That that becomes important later. So here's the ending. It's pretty much the same for all four characters no matter what. It's just them falling, and also, I think, for everyone other than Sonic, uh, Sonic himself is flying the plane. Very simplistic. Very early Game Boy Advance. But I would say it's a good... For, for the first Sonic game that was on a Nintendo system, I'd say this was pretty good. It took less than an hour to do, and that's with my pause in the middle. Though we're not actually done with the game yet. We got, we got way more of it to go. Though I think you do have to you have to do have to sit through the credits the first time, unfortunately. <coughs> so Yuji Naka was still the producer at this point. I, wait, does he actually still produce Sonic? I'm not sure. Or has he been like, did he stop? I know he's the guy. I know he he's the one who created Sonic, wasn't he? Oh, another thing about Dimps, uh, they're actually the people, I don't, I think I was gonna say this before and I got trailed off, but, uh, Dimps are the people that make the Dragon Ball Xenoverse games, which I've been playing the second one of on Switch lately, and it is, uh, it is so good. It's like, my, it's mindless fun, but it's still fun. Yeah, there's a couple songs here, uh, from, taken from Sonic 1 and 2. Mostly the menus and stuff, but also you heard the two boss themes from Sonic 1 and 2 in that last level. <clears throat> yeah, wow, I grossly underestimated how long that was gonna take me. I thought it would take two hours to beat the main game the first time. It is short, but there is replayability, because, li like I said before, like I showed you at the beginning of the stream, uh, each character has their own progress of the game, though the Chaos Emeralds do s stack among all files, so that's why I'm going to get them with Tails, rather than go back with Sonic. Go collect all the Chaos Emeralds. Sure, why not? I, I didn't even realize that was a screen that appears at the end. Now you can't skip this part, though. Actually, you can, I think. Yeah, there you go. With a shorter uh, title screen theme. So I... Yeah, I think that's it for Sonic. Yeah. So now you can choose any zone or any act you want to go to. And I'm hitting the wrong button to hit B. So, what I'm going to do is I'll get all the emeralds as tails, but first I'll show off how Knuckles and Amy play for a bit. So, Knuckles, kind of same thing. He, I, actually, I think he jumps normal height in this game, as opposed to shorter than Sonic. Uh, he can do the spin dash. He can do his trademark glide, which, you know, lets him slide in the ground a bit. Also, new to this game, he can punch multiple times and do an uppercut if you mash the B button. Which is cool, I guess, but kind of useless since he's usually got to stand still to do that anyway. But it does give him a little more, like, 
uniqueness compared to uh, Sonic 3, where it was just like, oh, he jumps shorter and he can climb walls. I don't think he has any other moves. Not in this game, at least. Later games kind of switch up how the characters play, and spe especially Sonic Advance 3. I don't want to go into too much detail since it'll, it's going to be forever until I play that game. But there is a, there, there's something pretty cool about how that game handles the characters. Maybe he can actually reach the first Chaos Emerald area on his own. I'm not sure. It's way easier with Tails, I know that. Nah, I mean, like, you have to get up there somehow. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, so there you go, there's Knuckles. <laughs> His reaction to seeing fake Knuckles at the end of uh, Angel Island is pretty funny. He gets like really pissed off at him, but I'm not I'm not playing through his knuckles all the way up to that point. <laughs> So Amy, this is the first side-scrolling game Amy shows up in, and she's using her Sonic Adventure redesign. She plays a little differently, which makes her kind of cool. She actually does not spin when she jumps, which makes her vulnerable. She has like a short hop forward, which you could press into a slide, which doesn't really do much, just hurts her face. If she's standing still, or even if she's running, you could stop her momentum to do kind of like a double smash with her hammer. She could spin with the hammer. If you press down and hammer, she does kind of a high jump, which is neat. She's all around like the hard mode character. She's definitely requires a little more finesse to play as compared to the other characters. Mostly because she just can't run into enemies. Because even if she jumps on them, she gets hurt. She does have one neat ability, though. Let me get rid of this bad guy here. She does have one neat ability that they don't actually tell you about in the instruction manual. If you hit a spring with her hammer, she goes soaring, which is really useful. There's some jumps that only she can make because of that. And again, only Sonic can ride rails in this game. No one else can uh, touch him. Which, you know, doesn't really matter much because there's only, like, four rails in the entire game. I don't think it, yeah, it doesn't work on sideways things. It only works on the uh, vertical ones. <coughs> Excuse me. Question? And again, they all have their own progress of the game, but I'm not going to bother doing it with all of them. Old design or current design, Amy? I don't know. I'm used to the new design, Amy, but I love the old design, Amy, too. Her Sonic CD slash Sonic Drift design. Oh, yeah, she can also do this. If you press a down while in the air with her, she, she does, like, a hammer spin. So, yeah, that's Amy and Knuckles. We're gonna do Tails next, just because Tails can get all Chaos Emeralds easily. And if he misses any, I'm just going to clear the game and then go, well, actually, I don't know. I don't know how it works. But yeah, I mean, this will take another hour to get through the game as Tails, but it's also like... It's also like it's going to be longer because the cast emeralds are not going to come easy. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, current design Amy's alright. I mean, I can't really, like, I, I'm not the biggest Amy fan in general. I definitely do like her Sonic CD design, though. It's very, it's very cute. Right. 
So there's even like an arrow of rings pointing up, and it's like, how the hell are you supposed to get up there? Shit. Shit. Like, I don't think you can get enough speed down here to do that. Yeah, no. I've actually never made it up to that special stage with... Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Come on. Uh, and you can't flap off of a, uh, a spring. Also, something I've noticed about this series is that they made Tails' as Tails really big. Compared to a classic series. Like, there's a special spring. Like, I have no idea how you're supposed to get up here as anyone else. Welcome to the special stage. Get 60 rings. Alright, so, what was it? A speeds up, B spins. They try to go for this, like, 3D-ish effect, and it doesn't really work too well. Can we get all of them there? Alright. Uh, really? Failed it? Okay. Whatever. Cool! Is that bad? What do you mean, is that bad? In relation to what, in what comment? Oh yeah, this just kind of launches you. I think that was a continue. That, that thing that I grabbed right there, and that's a chow. Come on with that! Alright, whatever. I got enough. Grab the Chaos Emerald. I believe you don't have to get them with everyone. Continue plus one. Not that a continue matters in this game since it saves. Tails' as tails are bigger. No, actually, it's better because it has a bigger hitbox for spamming uh, bosses. It's just weird because they like redesigned them to, to look that way. Oh, you could just fall down there normally. I thought that there was like a platform there that stops you from doing that. Oh yeah, speaking of Tails' is Tails, uh, if he's on the ground and he swings, he could do this. Which, again, not super helpful, but whatever. Also cool that I'm dropping frames again. Love how Verizon has not fixed their shit. It's funny, uh, this hammer machine actually kind of reoccurs in the series in different ways, but it's always the first boss of, like, every Sonic Advance game.
Alright, now I believe Tails is, uh, the, not Tails, but the special spring here is in Act 2? I'm not sure. Or maybe it's in Act 1... Come on, stop. I know that you have to kind of go up for it, like you have to stay as high as possible. I don't know which act it's in, though. up there. No, I remember it being in like a separated area with a loop near it. Again, it's been a long time since I got, since I did this. <laughs> this game came out in 2002, beginning of 2002. And I only ever got the Chaos Emeralds in it once, just because getting them is such a massive pain in the ass. No, I guess it wasn't this act. Also, it's worth knowing that the Egg Rocket act that I had so much trouble with the Sonic is, like, so trivialized with Tails, because he could just fly over everything. He could fly straight up through most of the platforms. But I believe the uh, Emerald in Zone 6 is in Cosmic Angel. is like glitched. Alright, up here. I think this is it. Over right over here. Right over here. Yes, I remember this. Now you go up. And I believe it's like somewhere over here. Like if I go this way? No. I've been here before, Sonic. And again, I think the next zone, it's like the same thing, it's like you have to stick to the top. Maybe it's over here. Yeah, I seem to vaguely recall something like this where... There it is. It's right up there. No, 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 no! You bastard! Sit right fucking through there. Is there any way to get back? No. Fuck. Alright, well, we're gonna have to restart then. Oh, you can start from Act 2. Alright, never mind. Maybe that's after you beat the game once. Because I remember the first time I played the game, I stopped in the middle of Act 2, and it only had to start from Act 1 again. Or maybe it's because I played as a different character. Who knows? This 
Some lame ass spikes. Obviously, if you s exit out of a stage, you lose all your lives and, uh, score if it's that big of a deal. Yep, got him this time. Bounce, 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 bounce again, and then we gotta bounce one more time over here. And there's our little buddy. Now, just to be safe, let's, uh... Anti-frustration this shit, because this is going to be really hard. Or at least the later ones are. You saw me try to attempt the one in Angel Island Zone before. do there to get that to work. I don't think it's dashing through it. Get 140 rings. Rings. And get them onion rings. You hit those boosts the wrong way. Fuck, if you hit those boosts the wrong way, they like just send you straight through the rings without touching them. Also, yeah, for some reason the little chow or uh continues. never finish that song in game. Like, you can only hear it from the sound test. Like, they cut off the last, like, five or six seconds of it. Alright, now to finish the zone as normal. Bosses are definitely easier. See, I wasn't even, like, the thing is he, like, always lands right on top of you and there's, like, no time to avoid it. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. He just makes a shockwave, so it hurts you no matter where you are. mistaken, the emerald in this zone is kind of this, it's just like, you guys gotta stay at the top at all times, which is kind of a running theme with a lot of the emeralds in this game, which, that's, which is why it's so easy for Tails to grind them. I recall having to cross neon letters to get to where the special stage is. I also think it was on the right side of an ear, or like, left side of a platform. I know there's a special spring in Zone 4 like that.
Oh, here it is. Look. Landed right next to it. 80 rings. Whoop. Gotta be careful spinning because you can't move, you can't uh, dodge while you're spinning. I'm never gonna get one of those. And I only beat it by one ring, too. Who builds these special zones and why? I gotta say, Sonic Mania, probably my favorite special zones, like, ever. They're so fun. Nope, I dashed right through that and it didn't work. Are you kidding me? Did I miss it by one ring? Fucking... Fucking dude. I won't use the safe state yet. We'll, we'll use safe states dependent on how, how frustratingly hard it is. Okay, Tails, grab the thingy. Or you could just go up there. That's fine, too. Oh wait, we're here again. Okay, I know where we are. Let's go over here. Over here. Go up here. We definitely did not go through that way. Thing, the bouncy, bouncy thingy. What was that? There we go. I, I, I guess my timing was just off. hard to tell because they use like this stupid like 3D perspective that doesn't work well in the GBA.
Alright, let's cruise the rest of this zone real quick. GBA error was interesting. Yeah, they tried a lot of stuff. Some of it worked well, some of it didn't. If you want an example of 3D that looked nice on the GBA, um, Golden Sun is definitely the pinnacle. Just because they used, like, a very neat, semi-transparent layering technique to kind of, like, emulate that 3D environment. I always thought that was pretty cool. I mean, there's no real reason to explore here, since we already got the Emerald. The only one with the only act that has two special stages, or the only zone that has two special stages is the next one. To make up for the fact that there's only six zones. I couldn't quite understand the chip hate over the GBA. I don't know, it's bad. It depends on what the game is. What do you mean the chip hate? Like, the, the dislike of the 3D or the graphics? I mean, for the time, this was amazing for a handheld system. Because your only competitor at the time was the previous Game Boy and then, like, the Wonder Swan, which could not put out at this quality. Also, the Wonder Swan was never released here, so there was, like, no competition. Oh, the chiptunes. Yeah, I mean, it depends. It depends on how they mixed it. Because I can give an example of a game that mixed... that used its sound fonts well, and examples of games that used them terribly. Because there, there have been both. This game, I feel, uses them nicely. It's not too loud, not too scratchy, and it sounds... Fairly good, I guess. And then you have like Mega Man Battle Network, where it's like really chip tuny, but it owns up to it and it tries to be. It doesn't try to be like chip tune orchestra. Though I will admit the quality of the uh, music in the Battle Network series kind of dips in the middle, as you'll see in when I get to four eventually. This zone has two special stages, so I gotta remember how to find them? I don't know where they are. I know where the one in Act 2 kinda is, but... I don't know where the one in this is. I think I just have to keep hugging the top of the screen. Which is kinda like, in every, any game where you could play as Tails, it's kinda the cheese strat to do that. Snow levels are best levels. I disagree. I don't think the snow level in this game is that great. Oh, there it is. There's a special spring right up there. I just gotta find higher ground. There we go. Whee! <laughs> See, look at that. I, I missed, like, a bunch of them. That's what you need spinning for, for those rings that are, like, separated. Shit, dude. Come on. Get it together, man.
Hey, come on, I didn't grab any of those. Oh, oh, this sucks, I, I failed it now. I needed to get like all of those and I didn't. And I hit the bomb, so there you go. And spun either too early or too late. So hard to tell because they don't give you any indication at all. Not enough rings. I don't think... Yeah, no one can grind except Sonic in this game. In the later games, they make it essential so everyone can. But I think Sonic's the only one that could do like a mega jump off of it. I gotta get the onion rings. I mean, this is like, this is not even close to how hard this shit gets. Because this shit gets hard. No, nope, I must be doing it too early. That's the problem. Tails fucking gr fuck grinding. I can fly exactly. This game was not built around Tails, because he could break most stages. Wow, come on, fuck you with that. Up, up, and of course I didn't get any of them. And I spun too late, and I have even less rings than last time, that's cool. Hi. One more try, and then we start abusing that save state. <laughs> cheese it. I mean, the problem is there's not... Uh, I guess I could cheese it if I save stated in the middle of the stage. I kind of don't want to do that, though. That's a little too cheap. I don't mind... Starting from the spring after a certain amount of tries, but I kind of don't want to like Cheese it by saving in the middle of a special stage That being said I don't know if the emerald saves between the two acts of this world, so I'll probably save state after the first one I mean, I've done this legitimately before. Did I not even beat the first one? Oh my god, come on, man. Alright. We're just reloading the, save st the stage now. Wait a minute, this isn't the same one. Oh fuck, did I not make one before this one? Or does the color change and I wasn't paying attention? No, this is different. Shit, I'm in the last zone again. No, I can't. See, this is what happens when I try to cheat. I now I've fucked myself and I have to redo areas. Is 
now you have to see me do all, all of Act 2 of the last zone over again. Oh my god, see now it's... Now it's getting terrible because now I'm not only a zone behind, but I can't beat this one again. So, in essence, we fucked ourselves and just lost like 15 minutes of progress. Which I guess is good, it makes the stream longer, but I kind of didn't want the stream to run long tonight. only seven chances. No, there's only seven springs. Oh, come on with that. Why doesn't that work? And why didn't I grab the rings up there? Th this this game's special stages are terrible. And I, I fucked up again. Unbelievable. Well, I'm not doing save states anymore because that fucked me. <laughs> Completely fucked me. I should not have given in to peer pressure. There's seven specific spots where you have to go get them, and I fucking can't even with this. Essentially, if you miss it, you have to restart the act to get to get it to work again. Like you can't go back to it if you don't get it the first chance. But there's a level select, so you could just go back. But it's like I don't want to have to do the level over and over again. Which I now have to do anyway, because now I'm a whole emerald behind again. I'd have to do it, like, as I'm hitting the thing, and also, why didn't I grab those rings again? I was right in them. I don't think there's been a good Sonic special stage. Sonic Mania's special stages are amazing. They're really fun, and I'm upset that there's only seven of them. Because I'll, I'll be honest, I, w I would buy, like, a whole minigame compilation of just the Sonic Mania special stages, and why am I not fucking grabbing the rings there? Okay, okay, really with this? The you're, you're not even trying here, hold on. Alright, so it's after I break through it. You gotta, you gotta spin through the thing. Alright, welcome to stage 3 hell, which we beat and should be done and over with now. Special stages of Mania, though, too fast. I don't think they're too fast. I think, um... It, the thing is, the thing with Mania is that you don't even have to get the max speed to get the emeralds in them. In the final special stage, actually, you can actually cheese it and only get it at, like, Mach 2 instead of 3. Finally, there we go. You can tell I just don't give a shit because I want this to be done now. Funny how I barely even tried and I held the fast forward button and I still got to the end of that stage.
yeah, as you could probably guess, fighting these bosses with Amy is such a pain. Because she has to... She cannot jump into them. She has to hit them with the hammer. Though she does have a bit of a higher attack range than everyone else because her hammer does have some reach. Which is kind of nice, but... It's definitely not preferable to everything else everyone else can do. He does realize his time wizard abilities to quickly speed to the stage. Hey, he is a, he's a genius. He probably figured out how to do uh, time travel long ago. Corners are evil. Yeah, they are. In uh, Sonic Mania and in Sonic and in these special stages. Alright, I'm going to save state here so I don't fuck up again. Now you know the dangers of giving in to peer pressure. There. Now we're safe. I think the trick is to not go all the way against the wall and kind of float next to it a bit. Because if you're, like, right down there, you're not getting the rings. Oh, god damn- how are you supposed to be able to see that? Though I only played the Genesis games in Mania, these sprites are kind of messing with me. Yeah, these sprites are interesting. These are like the Dimps exclusive sprites. Not like how big Tails' as tails are in, in the Dimps games. too short. Oh, because I blew that fucking thing at the end. And again, you know, like the old Sonic games, if you have enough, more than enough rings in the first half, it'll carry you to the second half a bit. Also, unlike Sonic 2's annoying-ass special stages, there's only two segments in each of these. These are arguably the worst special stages in the Sonic Advance series, and in all the Dimps games, period. Sonic Adventure t or Sonic Advance 2s are much better, but getting to them is much worse than this game. And then Sonic Advance 3 is kind of in the middle, where it's like, it's not bad, but it's not that great. But getting to them is a lot easier than 2, though not as easy as this game, where you just find them in stages. Just 
she's doing most of the assist tails. Until we hit the wall, and then we fall down. And now we get to swim. Which, by the way, they did keep Tails' swimming ability in now, so... But yeah, I don't know how the Cast Emerald saves, so I might have to beat the whole zone. Which is annoying, because, again, this is the only zone with two Chaos Emeralds in it. Yeah, Tails is just fucking gone. He does not care. the last one. I don't think Knuckles can swim, but he can grab the wall underwater, so doesn't really need to. There's another spring in this stage, and I remember it being all the way on the right-hand side of an area. Like, against a wall. Kinda like how the one I just did was on the left-hand side. Springs being important to getting to it. But maybe I'm wrong. Until some advanced tech tail swipe, yeah. If only I didn't make him stop short. Just to do it. Actually, it's pretty good if you want to if you want to stop short, because it just lets you. God. Maybe this isn't the area. Maybe it's next area. I don't know. I feel like I'm too far in now. the end of the stage? It is. Fuck. So I missed it. Well, whatever. That means I could just start from this stage and get it. Alright, so you can't swim in one, but... Yeah, like I said, Tails' huge tails kind of trivialize most of the bosses. Ah, but I got hit from above. Alright. Well, maybe I could, uh, seek out the, uh, spring now. Since I know I went the wrong way. If I recall, this was the most annoying spring to find. Like, I couldn't figure it out for a while. Or I couldn't find it. Because the game gives you no indication that there's a second spring in this zone. Hmm... 
Maybe I'm too far. Maybe I have to go back a bit. Wait a minute. Is it, it's right here? No. There was something hidden in there, though. All right, you know what? I'm gonna look it. I'm gonna look it up just because I don't remember where it is at all. Mountain Zone Act 2 Spring. Uh, special Spring. Uh, yeah, that doesn't help. That doesn't help at all either. There's still a 10 minute time limit, yeah, but I don't mind letting it run down a bit. I got lives to spare. I just don't want to leave you guys in silence. Another moving platform to a block of ice with a red spring on the right wall, but take it you should land the platform with a flat slope surface. If you didn't then restart the level, it's very hard to get back up most of the time. Really? I don't know. It, it, it's... It's fucking... Fuck it, dude. The sound of it, this is the spring you need to hit. And I just- oh! It was right fucking there, okay. Literally did not even try to look for it. Just right the state here, 90 rings. It was hidden like off-screen. Whoops, that, I went to the wrong button there, alright. That was not a mess up on my part. We start getting some dickish patterns with this shit. If I recall, the final stage is the, is the absolute worst. It's like impossible. So I think it's like 120 and 240. I'm close. Alright, I got it. Nice. I just have to avoid trouble. Not bad. Technically my first try. Tails doesn't avoid trouble. He starts it. Yeah, he does. Ah, uh, see, it's devious. They make you think it's like the top of the wall, but it actually isn't. 
Really, if you backtrack to it, it's, it's like way easier to find. Maybe he's sliding on his ass. The problem with him being at the top of the screen is then he gets hit by the icicles, and it kind of makes it hard, because the icicles do kind of home on you a bit. bonus whatsoever. Alright, now we just gotta get to Act 2 here. Act 1, we can just leisurely pass through. Uh, you know, yeah, let's see my progress just to be safe. Don't want another repeat of what happened before. So if you missed it for the first time, welcome to Angel Island Zone. That looks nothing like Angel Island Zone. Welcome, welcome to Stone Ruin Zone. I guess the animals don't look as cute as they do in the Genesis games. Nah, to kind of take a backseat to Tails. Tails is the cutest thing in this game. Well, yeah, I think, like I said, when I was playing through with Sonic earlier, that's what I was saying. I was saying, I think these are supposed to be just, like, a different part of Angel Island. And it's also the fact that it's already floating. So it's not, like, the jungle area. It's kind of, like, the central part. That's also weird, because it's not in the middle of the ocean. Makes sense. I mean, it's, in Sonic Adventure 1, it's kind of like in a weird spot. No, I mean a fall. Oh, well, whatever. I was safe. This is the end of the act, actually. Yeah. Alright, here's where the next special spring is, and I actually ran into it by accident as Sonic, but I fucked it up, so I didn't get it. I like how Tails gets these weird extendo arms. He grabs onto that. I mean, look at that. That's not... His arms are really long there. It's kind of the same thing that happens when Sonic grabs him in, like, all the older games. His arms get, like, really long.
See, this stage is it's annoying to miss the, the emerald because you have to go through the whole stage over to get it again. Look how much bullshit you have to go through. And this is not a short stage. This is the spot I got stuck on for like three lives as Sonic. Thankfully his tails, you could just fly over all of it. Or hit the spring with the freaking tip of your shoe and fuck it all up. bad guy, and thankfully land on that area. Wait a minute, maybe I have to go back this way? Is it up here? Oh, I don't want to uh, start that low. All right, let's go up here. I think this might be above where it was. No, nah, this isn't. This isn't it. This is too early, I think. Yeah, because it's the top of the stage. Here it is. It's over here. Alright, special stage 6, 90 rings. I'm doing this all for the most anticlimactic, like, super sonic stage in, in the series, honestly. rings out of that whole group. He gets launched into the upper atmosphere and dies. Hey, if, if there's one thing that Sonic has taught us, animals can breathe in space. Oh, that was bad. That was not worth it. I lost more than I gained there. That probably fucked me. That totally fucked me. I'm done. Yeah, wow. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. No! Why didn't I grab more of it? Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Alright, well, that's a reset. Prolonging the inevitable. Alright, good. We're 20 ahead here. spinning. Alright, I think we're good at this point. And I'm not hit anymore. Yep. Alright, six down, one to go.
When the hell did Sonic learn to fly the plane? I guess he knew it in two, but... It's funny because he's like... Not supposed to be the mechanical genius and yet he knows how to fly a plane. Alright, time to fight our buddy Knackles. Poor Tails, he's like, no, don't, don't kill me. Also, you cannot tail whip him, you just block- Oh, you, I guess you can, but he can block it if he chooses to. The thing is, you can just wait until he charges up and then hit him anyway. Ow. Yeah, when Knuckles sees him, he gets really pissed. He's like, what the fuck is this shit? It is Sonic's plane. Uh, maybe. I mean, it's got Tails' logo on it. They share it. Alright, this stage again. It'll be much easier than last time because of the cheese strats. I only got one ring from that box. Man, Knuckles, when did you learn to shoot missiles? <laughs> I mean, you think they know it's not him by the fact that he had, that Metal Knuckles had yellow fists. It's like, come on, when did you change your friggin' gloves to such a gaudy color? <coughs> Even though yellow is my favorite color, that's kind of that's kind of see, it's kind of an ironic statement coming from me. Like I don't need to do all this. Cause that's tails, I could just go the fuck up here. See how much easier this is when you could just dodge everything by by flying past it. worse than the one I have. Stop tempting me with all these shitty shields. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't want that. We do not want that. No, sir. Here, boop this a couple times so we can bounce high enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, like my controller was kind of whacking out there for a second. I was making like a weird turn that I wasn't pushing for on the controller. Probably just this game's physics. Can't 
Okay, we get to avoid that hit or miss jump. And then run right into those springs or spikes because I'm an idiot. Bounce up here. I mentioned this before, but whenever a piece of the ship breaks off, that's a checkpoint. Those are the only checkpoints in this stage. Motherfuckers. Oh, come on. You're gonna anti-cheat me. At least anti-cheat me earlier. You fuckwad. You fucking... wad. Alright. Okay, there we go. The worst is behind us. been vac banned. Alright, now if I'm not mistaken, the special stage spring is like right at the beginning of the stage. You literally just need to go like up and to the left. Or something along those lines. I'm not mis I'm not sure. I know it's in the stage though. And I'm dropping frames again, that's cool. Neato. That's real fucking neato, Twitch. Actually, it's probably not even Twitch, it's probably Verizon. Can't remember where the spring is in the stage. Oh, you... Oh, you asshole. Let's take a death. Alright, let me look this one up, because I'm not... I can't remember. I thought it was at the beginning of the stage, but I don't think it is, actually. In retrospect... Spring. Let's continue to the right, picking up the container with the ten rings. Keep jumping, dodging all the robots. You reach a yellow spring in the ground. Oh man, that's annoying. I don't want to fucking. Ugh. Wait, that frame drop is on your end? Yeah, it is. It's fucking Verizon. That's that's been that way for a long time. Pretty much the entire Sega Nintendo 3 stream. Whenever the frames dropped, it was because of uh, Verizon. Because their speed is so inconsistent. I don't know why. Alright, so this is the right way. I am definitely going the right way from here. Why did you have to, like, move right in the direct- in the trage- You fuck. You son of a fuck. Do not presume. Yeah. No. Um, it's funny because 
I posted my speed test on my Twitter, and then one of my friends posted the the Vinny Vine Ryzen meme, and then my speed went back to normal afterwards. So we were just like, it is the meme. The meme is literally what saves the your internet connection. This might be the right way, I'm not sure. Oh my god, the enemy placement here is so bad. Oh, thanks. Fucking really, dude? I feel like I shouldn't go past this area, and I'm not sure. No, maybe not. sound right or seem right or maybe it does I don't know wait 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 no 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 this isn't right shit There it is! Nice! It was right in front of me the whole time. Alright, here we go. Last one. Last one of these torturous fucking... hundred rings. I recall the patterns here are terrible. There'll be like points where there's like one ring. Couldn't even get that. Get 200. I think I have to dive to get between those bombs without hitting them. Come on, that's bullshit. And I fucked that up. And I fucked that up too, cool. Okay. Alright, so you need to- alright, fuck you. The weird thing is, like, you can't retry the stages after you lose them, but it's like... 
other Sonic games let you do it really easily. The Rush games let you retry special stages incredibly quickly. I missed it anyway, fuck. Fuck! I shouldn't fall for those traps. Those traps are gonna ruin me. Oh, f and I fucked that up too. Good. Shit, dude! They should really just let you jump right back on it, like, give you no bonus. And then just be like, okay, well, try again. So you could die and then just try again, it's no big deal, but it's like... Just let me jump on the spring again. Give me no bonus and let me do it again. If you're gonna allow that anyway. The fact that you could choose your start, your, your stage once you've beaten it, also kind of makes it redundant. It's not like Sonic 3 where you have one shot, and if you don't get them all before the end, then you're done. And you have to wait until you beat the game to go back to a stage. That's a trap. I want to fall for it. Alright, not bad. We're doing good. Okay, no s s trick ring and no ring ring. Gotta avoid them both. So, skip that. And skip this as well. We'll see if that's enough, otherwise I'm gonna have to go for one of them. I got him. Oh, I did it! Hell yeah. There's more pointless continues that you don't need because you could start from any stage that you've beaten. Close off this area. I think you still need to beat the stage for it to save. Okay, I gotta. What is it? No, nope. gotta hit the spring. Go forward. Move up, up too far to the right. It's a very hard needle to thread, and then you always fuck that up too.
This boss is a pain in the ass. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It, 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 no, no, just fly over it. It's not even worth trying to get in the way of those fucking lasers. They're terrible. He only shoots three, so once they're gone, you don't have to worry about them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Playing a little fast and loose there. Fuck. I don't think I have to do this, but I will anyway with Tails, just because it's quick. Sucks. Nope, 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 nope. Shit, dude. Yeah, that has enormous reach. Trying to do a second jump on him will always get you caught by that hand. I have ideas to use why Eggman uses buggy with spike plan. I don't know. It's a throwback. Like like you saw, the first one was a throwback to Sonic 1. Shit, dude. No, 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 no. I need that ring. I got it, actually. And I'm dead. Oh, but I beat him. Unfortunately, that's not the last time we'll be seeing X-Zone, because you're going to be seeing it again, like, right now. The ball and chain's a little bit threatening. Uh, yeah, I guess. I'm surprised I did this in one stream. I thought this was gonna take a lot longer. Because I've only got one more thing to do, and it's gonna take me all of five minutes. So yeah, you've seen Sonic and Tails ending, and Knuckles and Amy are pretty much exactly the same thing. But I think I could skip the ending now. Of the credits. Can I? No, doesn't look like I can. Well, I just reset it, so no big deal. Uh, for this, let's, let's do this ch uh, trick one more time. So, if you missed the beginning of the stream, if you put an up, right, down, right, L, right, uh, uh, R, right, you get like Sonic and Tails mode. Now what I think I have to do is do Final Zone again from that from the start. Uh, uh, Tails, I don't know how to pilot this. We're so we're totally dead. The thing is, Sonic rides uh, pilots it for every other character too, even Knuckles and Amy, I believe.
Ah, that was that laser beam that I told you about. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, you, you need a good timing to cheese that. Also, where's Tails? Does he look- oh, there he is. He just sees spawns at the beginning of the stage, I guess. No, Tails, stay right there. You can hit him. You don't take damage. Fuck. Tails, grab a ring. Come on, dude. It figures now at the very end, I'm, I'm gonna start having trouble. Doing more than three is greedy. Oh, it doesn't work. Shit. Alright. <laughs> Tails is stuck in the void. Alright. I, I remember how to do this now. You can't go straight to the final zone. I think you have to start from the second to last one. I, I knew there was something like that. So you're gonna have to see X Zone a fourth time. Also, now I'm upset I didn't re-enter the Tails code again, because there there is like a little Tails actually has a custom animation for if you if you do this with all the emeralds. That was cool. All right. Not the whole po well, you know what, if I'm starting from the beginning. Alright, now we're ready to finish this. For real this time. The real, the real final battle is finally beginning. If, you know, the enemies don't fuck me over on the way there. fun to revisit it. It's also fun to see the, it's also fun in the fact that I was able to clear it 100% well almost 100% since I didn't do Knuckles or Amy's story, even though they have the same story. I was able to do this in one two hour stream, or three hour stream. It's pretty neat considering it took me like several days originally. I purposely tried to slow down there. Ah, oh, shit. Tail's actually gonna kind of fuck me here. This is hard mode now. Shit. 
No. No. No! You fuck! Ah, oh, god damn it. This is just going for the for the draw out points now. Ah, uh, good start. Great start right there. Two hits, no no damage. It figures now I'm at the very end, and this is when I'm gonna start choking. I don't know why, if you just do the X zone directly, it always plays the normal ending. You have to do a zone before it to, to activate the uh, supersonic thing. Before you even launch the uh, little drill thing that always misses. You, you cannot hit him from that, because it's such a quick attack. That I just got unlucky with. I jumped at the wrong time. Good job, Tails. I would have gotten him there, but thank you. I guess, and you did nothing for me there. Oh, come on with that shit now. Oh! Oh, come on! Alright, well, I can't fuck this up or I have to do Act 2 all over again. <laughs> Good start. Good start. Damage. No. That's just cool. Real fucking neato. Real fucking neato. Well, guess we're seeing Cosmic Angel Zone again. And for some reason, it didn't. It thing didn't work. There we go. Ah. Uh, End of the game, it's gonna get frustrating on me. They wait they waited until the very last moment to do that. This game is really a cut above. It's determined to not let me beat it.
So much needs to die. All right. Oh, come on. It's a little bullshit. It's a little bullshit at times. I had to say times. I mean, like eighty percent of the time. No. 10% of the time. This is just a bad run. Ugh, everything is like fucking going wrong. Alright, time for this pain in the ass once again. That was cool. Uh-huh. There you go. Alright, we're doing good this time. No major hiccups yet. Uh, 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 hold on one sec. Okay, there we go. That'll just help me out here a bit. Oh, the hand can't hurt you once it's out. Oh, not everything should be exploding. What's going on? Wait, 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 what about the special ending? Fuck, dude. Uh... Alright. So, something's just not right here, then. You know what it fucking is? I, I just realized it. And I fucking didn't even think about it till now. Uh, it'll only happen if I beat the game with everyone. Fuck. Well, I guess that means there's gonna be a part two because I'm not doing 
two more runs of this game tonight. <laughs> I was thinking this would be a one-off, but no. We are doomed to have this be a two-off. Don't worry, it'll be quick. It'll be like, you know, 40 minutes for each of them, and then I get the final thing of Sonic. I thought you just need the emeralds, and then you could do it, but you, you actually have to beat the game with everyone. And I mean, Knuckles already did the first act. And Amy, I think I've already done the first act as well. Yeah. So, it won't be too long. But uh, I am not doing it tonight, because we're two hours and 50 minutes in. So, I'm just going to call it here. Actually, before I do... I'll show off uh, Tiny Chow Garden a bit. So what this is, is if you rem if you ever heard of the uh, VMUs for the Dreamcast, they were like little things you'd plug into the controller, and they'd have like a little screen on it. You can uh, raise a Chow in the Sonic Adventure games. So what they do in the GameCube versions of it is instead of using like a, a dedicated VMU, you're able to connect your Game Boy Advance to the GameCube and then raise your chow in this little garden. But they actually give you one if you just rub the egg long enough and you can change its name to whatever the fuck you want. Ass. Child. And like you can pet it and make it happy. Uh, there is a way to feed it, but I don't know how. You got your rings. Chow Man, Chow Man, Defender of Good. And you can essentially, by feeding it, you'll make it full, and then you'll raise its stats, and then you can bring it to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle or Sonic Adventure DX on the GameCube and use it in whatever mode is in those games. And you got two little mini games here. You got like a rock, paper, scissors time thing. Yeah, by doing this, you, I think you get some rings and you get some presents, too. I'm not sure. This is also in Sonic Advance 2, but there's a different minigame, and also there's extra functions for the Chow. Is there? A, I'm pretty sure there's a. Sh yeah, there it is. So five thousand's a new egg, and you can't hatch a second egg while well, one's in here. These are all f different types of fruit that you can buy, so you can like give that. And yeah, see so it'll lower like that one lowers its mood, raises its belly, and gives it a bunch of stats. You can pull these little weeds out to make it happy. Uh, these are like the main prizes. You can just give it to them to make them a little happy. After a while, they start playing it better. And then there's like a rubber ducky, which they don't use in this game. In the second one, you can put it in the water and they'll actually swim on it. Oh no, split ends, my poor hair. Yeah, each of these foods raises a stat or two, swim, power, blah, blah, blah. Here's the other thing, it's a memory match game. The greatest food, trumpet. <laughs> So the Chow will walk around, he'll push some of the cards around. You can make him trip once, and it'll reveal a card if he's touching one. And you're allowed to make three, uh, two mistakes. Where they are depends on how many rings you get. One, three, and five. Honestly, these games are not good for rings. If you want rings, just play the main game, because all rings you get in the main game transfer to the tiny Chow Garden. I remember my Chow in, like, the actual cartridge for Sonic Advance was, like, really powerful. And it had, like, level, like, 30 in all stats or whatever, whatever the highest was. You see, that was a super expensive egg there.
So you can raise its level, and yeah. And unless you have Sonic Adventure 2 Battle or Sonic Adventure DX, there's really no point. Oh yeah, also now he knows how to play the trumpet better. He can play the full song. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to that. It's a neat little bonus. They put it in the first two Sonic Advance games, but not the third one. I think you have to unlock it in Sonic Advance uh, 2. But yeah, that's it. I guess, uh... If you want to see Super Sonic, you're going to have to come back next stream. Yeah, the entire song of four notes. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, next stream, I'll do the other two characters. Get Super Sonic, beat that. That'll be like two hours, maybe an hour and a half. And then I have another game planned afterwards. So it actually works out because the next game I planned was probably not going to be a full stream anyway. But I also was did not want to do another two runs of this game. Yeah, that's all. Uh, what else is playing tonight on Twitch? Who's streaming? Uh, the answer is next to no one. So, I'll just let Auto Host take over. You guys have a great evening. Thanks for coming and enjoying some fast with me. It was pretty fun, aside from that end part where I lost three times and then it turns out that I didn't even do it right. So, yeah, them's the breaks. I'll see you guys next week. You have a great evening. Good night.